How are we doing guys? How are we doing? Phil Kent here, the 100 day blitz and this is Facebook live video day number 72. Day number 72 we are getting towards the the big 100 slowly but surely. Nice to see you one if you're jumping on. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing, I started a 100 day blitz at the beginning of October and one of the things I said I would do with my targets, I said I would do a Facebook live video every day and so far I've only missed one day and that was a sunny when I was away for the weekend with the wife. So I'm going to give it a uh, standard two minutes, I'm going to give it two minutes for people to get a chance to jump on. How are we doing Darren? I'm going to jump in and say hello and then I'll already pick up on a post from the day before and have a chat about that and then take up on any feedback and just sort of see how it goes from there. That's the, it's the general format, doesn't always, uh, doesn't always follow through. How you doing this light? I'm using the, uh, the Chrome, Chrome Live again. It has been playing up for the last few days. I don't always see all the comments. I don't always see the people coming in. So hopefully it'll be a bit better. It was a bit better yesterday. It was a, a, bit, of a bit of a nightmare last week. Oh, I didn't see anybody who wasn't showing me who was in, who was commenting, wasn't showing me anything. So let's hopefully uh, <clears throat> we do this. So I'll let me give about two minutes, I'm about a minute and a half in. Let me get a standard two minute window is what I like to do just to give people a chance to jump on, get the notification that the live is on, and then we'll rock and roll. So are you all good? It's uh, 1.45 p.m. here in the UK. Nice day, but cold day. So I don't know what it's like where you are. Let me know where you are in the world, what your weather's like, and then we're going to crack on in a second. Now you might have seen the the subject was picked up on the post yesterday. Got quite a bit of uh, quite a good bit of feedback, and the post we're going to chat about today is uh, how to brand yourself effectively online. Because um, in my opinion, it's one of the most important things that you do need to be doing. Is definitely branding yourself is, is such an important thing. It builds up, uh, builds relationships and things like that. And uh, a lot of marketers, a lot of marketers, should I say, do it well. Others do not, <laughs> uh, quite simply. And, other, and others, realistically, they're just uh, they're branding incorrectly. That's that's the bottom line because it needs to be re remembered. You you hear me talking about it a lot. It needs to be remembered that in this industry that we're involved with, that people join people. They always have done and they, they always will do. It's not about the product, it's not about your comp plan, your website or anything. It's about you. And that's what you need to remember. I and mean, branding yourself is so important because people will always join people. You can have the best site in the world, but you, you do need to be branding yourself. So um, a lot of people ask me, how do you brand yourself? I get quite a few feedback and questions on this sort of matter. Um, so what I did when we, I was listed with the what I consider uh, free effective tips or free effective ways to go towards branding yourself online or how that are crucial in my opinion to successful branding of yourself and uh, so I've got a lot of free pointers to give out um, number one first and foremost is is give value it's, it's, it's without a doubt in my opinion uh, the number one and it's easily uh, easily number one, like I said, in my opinion, you'll see because branding is not just about putting your face or your image around. A lot of people just get confused with what it is. Um, you know, it's not just about putting your, like I say, putting your face or your image around here, there, and everywhere. It's it's a lot more than that. By giving out value, what you what you're doing all the time is you're building relationships and you're building a no like and trust factor around you, and that's where you want. You want people to see what you're doing all the time, you want people to see your face all the time, you want to get yourself out on video, you want to be uh, sharing information, sharing tips, sharing knowledge, whatever you can do, and giving out value as much as you possibly can, because that way, people are going to get to know you, yeah, they're going to they're going to start to respect you for the value that you're giving out, so you're not just all about this person who's forever just trying to get people on board, because too many people to get wrapped up with that, it's all about trying to get someone to join, trying to get someone to join, and you know, just being presented with their latest sort of opportunity, you know, so you, they're going to get to know you, are going to respect you for the value given out because it's basically attraction marketing and it works incredibly well towards branding you. It's, it's, it's a huge part of it. So number one, without a doubt, is, is give value. Uh, number two, I list as consistency. Again, a huge one. 
consistency yeah it's, it's hugely important and it's quite often overlooked when it comes to actual branding yet it's an effective part of it because if you're combining consistency with the first one of giving value then it quite simply makes the whole thing a win-win situation but where people seem to sort of fall down is that consistency has to be just that it needs to be consistent you know it's no good saying oh create consistency you've got to actually implement it yeah so you've got to be doing it over and over and over again day in day out and not stopping and more more importantly not stopping when the sort of results do actually start to come in because it's another thing that many do so many uh, many make a mistake of they they might sort of get this consistent momentum going they'll start generating the results and too many people just sort of sit back there and say oh yeah i've done it i've got the results i need uh, I can sort of take my foot off the gas now. You know, it's the worst thing you can do because once you do that, it basically breaks your momentum. It breaks your momentum. You have to keep going. It's, it's, it's a case of, you know, getting that consistency and keeping going, you know, and maintaining it over and over. You'll get spells, you get dry spells. You'll get spells where you're doing all this work and generating all this uh, traffic, what you think you are, and no leads coming in, no sales coming in. It's just a dry spell, work through it. And, and then you'll get the flip side to that where you'll get quite a few leads coming and quite a few sales coming, etc. So you've got to be doing that. Okay. Then number three, what I listed, uh, I said, this is, this is so important. Yeah. Number three, brand you, not the program or business. So many people do this wrong and it is crazy. You know, so many people get this completely ass about face. You know, they really do. You've got to brand you, not the program or business. I'll say it over and over because so many do it. So many do it and it's a huge no-no. It's the worst thing you can do. You know, it has to be one of the biggest mistakes that I personally see and know that people make regularly. You know, they almost get confused maybe what branding is or the branding concept is because they get it so badly wrong. And all, all they end up doing is basically branding the business they're with. They just become this latest billboard for for the program you know i'll give you examples they'll, they'll change their cover image to their latest business opportunity yeah that's a classic they'll, 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 you go to their timeline and the the cover image behind them is now that is it's the latest biz up that they're involved with yeah they'll have it all over the timeline they'll have banners everywhere there will links everywhere yeah they'll talk about that and only that if you ever make a conversation with them and a whole lot more and then they go further than that you know they'll they'll use all the program supplied capture pages and nothing else they use their videos they'll use their marketing resources that they found in the back office all the all the banners and etc they've been done for them you know they'll use the pre-written email campaign that was supplied to as well you know which is all well and good if you're starting out and you just need a bit of early momentum I mean, definitely no no on your timeline all this but never put all your never change your cover image and things like that and you're not branding yourself at all all you're doing is branding the business you're you're just like a you know a glorified walking advert for the business there's nothing about you whatsoever it's it's it's, it's a huge mistake and so many so many do it you know, you're not branding yourself at all you've got to brand you so if you can, if you've got access to a decent marketing system, such as Power Lead system, something like that, then use that so you can use different capture pages. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge start because otherwise, because a, a program only has to be out a short amount of time and they've got their three or four um, capture pages that they give you. If you're lucky, they get three or four. A lot of times only one, maybe two. You know, and everybody's using that. All these people that are branding ineffectively, they're all using that. So it soon becomes so well known and so well seen that it, there's, there's no effect with it anymore. So, you know, use different capture pages, write your own emails. You know, it's not it's not rocket science. Just be yourself. People say, how do I write an email? Just chat in your email, you know, just be be yourself. You don't have to have this, you know, word perfect, you know, laid out crappy email that these gurus try and tell you to do it's all nonsense you just got to be yourself chat a few lines about yourself why you're in the business why this company could be working for you offer some value share some tips share some videos there's so much you can do in emails it's crazy it really is so use your own emails yeah you know these are just a few examples you could put a bridge page in you know if you put a if you're a bit more technically advanced you know it's not that difficult either you just you can create a wix site for free you can you can go from a capture page to yourself on video 
that's what's known as a bridge page. You basically have a capture page here, you have a sales presentation here, and a bridge page literally goes in the middle. That's why it's called a bridge page, yeah? And then you, the ideal thing is to have yourself on video in between the two, even if it's just like 30 seconds, you know, a quick 30 seconds, you hi, thanks for dropping in, da da a quick info about yourself, don't talk for too long because you might bore them and lose interest. <laughs> you know, just a, a quick 30 second, a quick 30 second introduction about yourself, and then you can lead them onto the sales presentation. That alone is a hugely effective way of branding yourself. It just puts you in between so they can realize that you're a real person, they can get to see who they could potentially be joining with. Yeah. Because the other downside, what people seem to forget is that. No program is safe online, as we all know. There's been hundreds that have gone down in the time that I've been online. And I've only been online over six years, you know, and nothing is. Some, some big names have dropped, as we all know, you know. So, if if all you've been doing is branding the business, you've got it as your cover image, you've got it down your timeline, you've got it as your profile pic. I've seen it all, you know. It's just unbelievable. And if all you're doing is is being this billboard for the company, then that program goes down. What are you left with? Nothing. You've lost a lot overnight. You've not just lost your income. You've lost everything that you were doing. You've lost all the sort of links and that are you putting out because you were putting out all the all the program stuff, all the all the banner stuff, all the information. You're left with nothing. It's just gone overnight. You know, whereas if you've been branding you and not the program, you did your own adapted marketing system, you've been branding yourself with your own images, your own videos and things like that, all you would need to do is simply remove the fallen program and place it with something else. Job done. You know, it's as simple as that. And that literally is how easy it is. You know, whereas I said, if you've done before, if you've just been using all the pre-made stuff and you've got it everywhere, then all of a sudden you've got to change everything. You've got no, you've got, got no more marketing links that you can use because you're only using the referral links to the program. You've got no more banners that you can use because you're only using the banner links to the program. It just goes on and on and on. You've got to put yet another uh, new cover image behind you and your Facebook people see and think, so what's the latest one now? You know, now we've changed it, it becomes like a conveyor belt, you know, like, like that generation game they play. You know, it's just, it's just, what, it's just what, what's going past next. You know, you got to, you got to think positive, you got to act like a, treat like a business guy. So, you know, you got to need to remember that. But if you've been, you know, if you've been branding yourself and you've been building your brand with the consistency and the value that I said to you about, you know, your team and your followers are very likely to stay with you for the long term, even if a program goes down, because people accept that these things do happen. If you've been building this relationship with people and you've been creating that value, they're going to want to stick around, you know, and if you've been teaching them to market like you do and brand yourself, they're not going to lose anything either. You know, if you've been just sort of branding the business and attracting the same like-minded people to you because all they're going to do is duplicate what you're doing you know they'll, they'll all be branding the business as well and that business goes pop you know they're going to lose everything they had and they're going to lose certainly faith and trust in you because i think that you led them down there where is if you taught them how to build a brand and how to brand themselves and use duplicatable marketing systems that can be adapted for any business, they're going to realize that how simple it is to simply switch a program out and continue what they were doing. You know, it's a very, very easy process. And that is how you need to be, because you sort of need to be prepared for the you know, the unexpected online, because it can happen just like that. And your work can disappear overnight. So you need to be you know, adaptable in a, a very short space of time. So always concentrate on to create your brand create your own brand with value and consistency, and then you can maintain that brand by branding yourself always in everything that you do. And then you can develop and that grow that brand to a mass following for your own online success. And it, that, is, that is how it works. That's, that's the easiest way to put it in into layman's terms and, and get it effectively. So those three tips, like I said, are, are huge and I hope they're helpful for you. Give, give out value, maintain consistency and brand you not the program, and that's the you know, it's, it's such an easy track to fall into. I'm going to scroll back and see if you've got any uh comments I missed up on, missed out on, should I say? Uh, how are we doing? I can only see sofa up the screen. Hi, Derek. Hi, Nicola. Nicola says, Good day. She's almost midnight here in Australia. Nice late one. Thanks for joining. Hi, MK. Hi, Rachel. 
Hi, Alex. Uh, Nicholas says, very true. Never give up. It takes time. It does. You know, there's going to be people that tell you out there, it's, oh, it's easy. It's quick. Don't listen to them. You know, don't listen to them. You know, you, you may hear of quick success stories. Do they happen? Yes. Are they very often? Are they very common? No. You know, it takes time. It takes hard work. It takes consistency is, is a huge one. You've got to keep going day in, day out. You keep doing your thing over and over and over and over. Keep people to see your content over and over and just, and be consistent in what you do, attract people to you. If you constantly giving out value, you're going to start receiving it back. You're going to attract those same people to your circle, things like that. Nicholas says, 100% agree with you. So that's, you know, that's the order of today because branding is such a big thing. You know, it is such a big thing. You know, if you want to, you've got to stand out online. That's the, that's the thing. You know, if you, you know what, if you're doing mass sort of paid marketing, it's some people say it's oh it's it's different because you haven't got that one to one contact, which is technically true, but you that's only if you're the sort of person that likes to message people directly or pick up the phone all the time. You know, if you're uh, start running a lot of paid traffic, then you can still have all your branding in place. You can be putting yourself on video, you can be putting yourself in, in bridge pages, you've got your email follow up series that's gonna go autom out automatically. So it doesn't matter where your traffic's coming from. Some people try and argue that argue the fact, and you know it's just a case of making that little bit of extra effort, you know, and putting yourself out there because people join people. You hear me bang on about it all the time, and it's so true. They'll they'll choose a program. This is what they generally do. This is the general format. They'll see a program they like. It doesn't matter who they see it with. It's, it's irrelevant. You know, and this is this is the general format. They'll see they'll see a program that they like. Whether someone posted it on Facebook, they might say, "Oh, I like look at that." Then what do they do? They don't just go, hey, where's that link? I'm gonna join now quick. It doesn't happen like that. You know, people seem to think if they get a link out quick, then they'll get the first mass 200 to join before anybody else does. You know, it's crazy mindset mentality. You know, it doesn't work like that. You know, what if, if you see a program you like, the average person, what they will do, they'll then jump on to Google or YouTube to find some reviews. That's the next step they do. They're trying to do a little bit of research. This is what the average person does. If they like what they see, then they will basically then choose who to join under. And normally that comes from typically YouTube or somewhere like that, or could be a blog or something like that. And they'll look for the person that seems to have a lot of information about the program. They might have done a, a stack, um, excuse me, I've done a stack of videos on how to join, how to register, how to get verified, how to withdraw, how to deposit funds, all these different videos. They might have whacked all those into a little training site or a quick get started guide, you know, and straight away they think, well, this this guy or this girl seems to know what they're doing. This, I think I'll join with these. That is how it works. That is generally how it works. You've probably done it yourself a hundred times without even realizing you've done it. Some people might join their best friend because I've known them ages online and they're a great friend of mine and I want to join them. Well, if they're not going to give you any value, if they're not going to be any help to you, what's the point in joining them? You know, you know, as you've got to, you've got to, you've got to treat it like a business, not like your mate. This is down the pub. You're not, you're at the bar. Treat it like a business. You've got to go work with the people that are going to benefit you the most. You know, so you should be joining those that are giving out value, joining those that you think are going to be beneficial to running your business online. You know, it's okay. All very well joining you, joining the friend. You know, but that friend needs to be providing value or needs to be someone that you can build a good online relationship with. There's a huge difference. And most people, that is how they go out and join programs. They look for somebody to join with. Now, I've had many times when I've built a program and I've built a sort of training website for that program. And I get a lot of people join from YouTube. And if I chat to them, they, the amount that I've said, I joined you because of your training website. I've joined you because of the information that you had, you know, because they don't want to just join the guy who's done a standard review on it. They wanted to join somebody who's got something to offer. So you've got to give people a reason to join you rather than join with the next guy. That's how, that's how your mentality should always go. So the more information you can give out, the more information on that program you can give out, the better it is. Just make videos, put out content. And if, you, if you're not into videos, write a blog. You know, anyone can write, write some posts, do the same sort of thing, write some posts. There's so many ways you can do it. There's so much information you can do. You can use, I said, you can use a Wix site, you know, a Wix website knocked out in, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Really, it's, it really is that simple. 
you know, you can you can put a quick get started website. Wix is completely joint uh, free to join. You go to wix.com, w-i-x.com, create a free account. It's all you know, drag and drop, user friendly. You can drag videos into place. You can use pre-made templates. You can drag buttons. You can you can put your link to them, and it looks semi-professional. It does not have to be you know, 100% flawless marketing presentation sales page. It doesn't have to be like that, guys. It just needs to be you and something that you've put together. And people will, will join people all the time. So give out that value. Make that extra effort. Give people a reason to join you, and you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna do a lot better. You, you put so much value into a small training website and things like that. So I'm just looking down, uh, see if I missed any comments. I don't think that I have. Good feedback yesterday from a couple of the guys. They said they're going out and do challenges. I covered uh, challenges and short long-term goals yesterday. And that's another huge one. It's another, it's, another, it's another huge one. If you missed yesterday's live, go check it out. Um, it's all about, you know, I'm a big believer in setting yourself challenges and make yourself accountable and things like that. So you should always be doing them. Always be doing them. Uh, at, least, at least a seven-day, but ideally at least a 30-day is far more effective. Set yourself some short, uh, small goals, targets, and you might, you'll find yourself self-accountable. It'll make you do more on a regular basis. It'll bring in that level of consistency and persistency that you need to keep generating. So that was today's subject, guys. How to brand yourself effectively online. Too many people are doing it, and uh, or doing it wrong, should I say. And just remember those first three points. Give out value on a regular basis as much as you can. Get people to know you, they'll respect you for the value you're giving out. You know, they'll want to sort of connect with you more and be a part of what you do. They'll start sort of following you and things like that. Maintain consistency was the second point. You know, it's so important. Just be consistent in everything you're doing, especially combining it with your with your value giving. And last but not least, the you know, make sure you brand you, not the program. You know, it's got to be the biggest one that people do wrong. You know, they'll they make it all about the business. You know, that's sort of about the cover image, even that profile pic I've seen of the latest business. You know, and you look at the timeline, it's just like a billboard of the latest program they're in. It looks awful, it looks spammy, and it, it does not build any relationship whatsoever. All it does is brand brand the business, and it's no good to anybody. So always brand yourself, offer value, offer, offer consistency, and you'll get people watching you and wanting to be a part of what you do. And even if they're not quite interested in that particular program that you may be involved with, maybe you'll add another income stream to your portfolio further down the line, which is of great interest to that person. And because you've been giving out that value, maintaining that consistency and things like that, they can be much more likely to want to join with you than join with somebody else. And that's that's how the industry works. You know, people coming to you and say, hey, I've seen you just join that. Can you send me some information? Right? People will come to you and ask for your links. That's what they do. Right. So, okay, guys, I think that's just about it. I can't see any more questions or comments coming in. I've been keeping an eye out on the right-hand side. So i going to wrap it up. This is uh, Phil Kent here on the live video of me 100-day blitz, day number 72. Whatever you're doing, have a great day. Um, so we're always around this time, the Facebook Live. So uh, go check me out. If you missed any on the other ones, go check out on the timeline. Nice to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Take care now, and I'll catch you on the next live video. Cheers now.